This account challenge is called sales by match. Here we're going to receive an array and we need to count the number of pairs of integers that we can find inside that array. So let's say this is our array here. We have nine integers. We need to count the number of pairs that we can find. So at first we don't have any pair. To count, we're going to loop through this array and then count the number of occurrences for each and every integer. So we are going to create a map. And as we loop through this array, we are going to increase the value for every key inside this map. So the keys are going to be these integers and their values are going to correspond to the number of occurrences. So at first we are here at index zero, we see 10, so we count it as one. Then we see 20, we add 20 to our map and we increase the count by one. Then we see 20 again, this is the second occurrence, so it increases to two. And at that point, we have a pair. So we increase the count of pairs by one. Now we see 10 here, we increase the value by one. So 10 here becomes two, and we have a new pair. So we have this pair of 10 here. So we need to count it as a second pair. We see 10 again here, we increase the value by one. We see 30, we've not seen that before. So we count 30 and we set the value to one because it's the first time we are seeing it. Then we see 50, we add 50 to our map and we count it as one. Then we see 10 here. This is the fourth time we are seeing 10. So the value here becomes four. And at that point, we have two pairs of 10. So this is our third pair because we have two pairs of 10 and one pair of 20. Then finally, we see 20 here and this increases to three, but it's not enough to create a second pair because for pairs, you need two, four, six, and so on. So by the end of that loop, our map would look like this, and the count of pairs is going to be three. Now, this array here, I took it from the sample inputs, which you can find right here, and their output is the same. They also have three, and this is how they represent it. So we have two pairs of 10, same as we did. Then they have one pair of 20 plus 120, which is on its own. And this is also what we have here. We have one pair of 20 plus one on its own, and then they have 50, and 30, each of them on their own. Same as what we have here, 30 and 50 only have a single count because we only found them once inside our array. So this here is the logic. What you see is my solution. It's a function called sock merchants and it's supposed to return an integer. The integer here must be the number of pairs that we found inside our array. So we have this parameter n, which they say corresponds to the number of socks in the pile. And we have this vector here. So this vector here, which I am passing by reference uh, when it's being called um, inside our main function. So the argument is going to be passed by reference. That's why I have this ampersand symbol here. Um, but this vector here corresponds to that array right here in our example. And then I have this map here that I'm calling counter. So the keys are going to be integers and the values are also going to be integers. So counter here could be this map right here key value pairs. And then I have my pair variable here that I'm setting to zero, which corresponds to this here at the beginning of this solution, this is zero. And then I'm looping through my array, just like with this. And anytime we found an integer, we added it to our map, or if it was already an existing key inside our map, we simply increase the value. So that's what we're doing here. We increase the value for that key inside the map. And if the value for that key inside the map is a value that is divisible by two after increasing the value here, it means that we found a pair. If it's a new key at first, it's going to be one. So when we check here, one is not a value that is divisible by two. So we won't increase the count of pairs. But when we meet it again, and we increase that value by one, it becomes two. So when we check this, two divided by two is zero. And therefore, we are going to increase the value for our pairs variable here. So notice here that I'm using the modulo operator, which will return me one if it's an odd number like one, three, and five. So here I am negating that value to get zero. So if this here is two, we will have two divided by two with the modulo operator is going to return zero. I have to negate that value here to be a positive value and it will be one. So if this is one, it's equal to true. If it's zero, this will be equal to false. So this won't run. And that's why I have this exclamation mark here. Now, once I'm done processing my array and counting my number of pairs, I need to return that variable here. Let's now run this code and see if we pass the sample test cases, we just did. So sample test case zero and also sample test case one. Let's now submit this code. And we've just passed all the test cases. So that is the HackerRank solution for sales by match. If you liked my solution, please subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notifications and I'll catch you next time.